foolish thing to get angry over, isn't it? Perhaps you had to be there when the Tempest was made. In a way, I'm always there. I see my team's faces as clearly as yours. What's the saying? People aren't dead while someone still remembers them? Remember them for me. Tell me who they were. Serena still wore her bondmate's perfume years after they separated. I can see the patterns Tion embroidered in his Enviro suit. I see Lucille, O'Connell, too. Maybe they're not completely gone. If they still comfort and inspire you, are the people you love really dead? It would be very hard to be the last. Though the Tempest will outlast us all. Did you need anything else? Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. Tell me something else about the ship. I'm all out of stories for now. Sorry. You'll have to make some new ones. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Liam's quite fun. Not many humans have that kind of energy. I probably shouldn't have told him there are secret compartments in the armory, though. He's been looking all day. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Dr. Tapero seems nice, if quiet. It must be very different here, compared to the Hyperion. Fewer people in stasis shock. Let's keep it that way. Given Drax's history with Salarians, it's probably better I just stay out of his way. Too bad. That grunion roast he makes smells delicious. I like PB. But I really hope she doesn't lean on the escape pod's manual release by accident. Is that easy to do? It's an escape pod. If it's difficult to use, you're doing it wrong. Vetra's very kind. She actually got hold of some dried seaweed snacks for me. Said I needed feeding up. I don't talk to Cora much. She always seems so busy. There are things I'd like to ask her about your father, but it never seems like a good time. Jal has all sorts of questions about the ship. I gave him some technical manuals. He tore right through them. I should ask him about Angaran ships. Imagine something actually designed to handle that damn scourge. What do you think of the rest of the crew? No, oh, <laughs> if I gossip anymore, I'll get in trouble. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. This is home. Our ancestors came from this system, from Havar. It looks so small from here. Anomaly detected. Changing the nav point for Dar Palev. That's where the Moshai's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait! I don't think his... Well, that's something you don't see back home. Bringing us in.
none of these readings show any change. How could there not be a change? Jarl, we heard about the Moshai's rescue. I'm so relieved. We were all worried for her. This must be the Pathfinder Rider. I am honored. Where's the rest of the team? Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of Remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. I know how to work Remnant tech. I can help you. We've tried everything we can think of. I suppose it's worth trying this. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis, and it may happen again. I heard the advisory that you'd be out here. You didn't prepare me to meet you. The name's Ryder. I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. They say you want to help us. I wonder what you're prepared to do. If it gets me on your good side, I'm in. That's reassuring, assuming you mean well. My name is Rochelle V. I'm an archaeastronomer. I study our ancient cultural records for stellar phenomena. I piece together lost knowledge of ages past. My goal is to find undiscovered colonies we lost contact with, potential allies against the Ket. You think there might be Angara worlds you don't know about? That's what I was trying to learn. Then this happened. I was away when the disaster struck. I thought my home was destroyed, and all my research with it, but I just learned part of the building survived. I'm trying to recover my research data, but the wildlife won't let me near my old home. These house guests, I assume they're of the hungry variety? The structure has become a breeding ground for insects and predators. Too many to face alone. Your work is too important to lose. Let's get it back. I'll provide my home's location. Just recover my research materials from the computer. I'll remain in contact with you by comm. Thank you for this. Emergency support from cat attacks. All of them. Old man Lourge. What's he doing here? What? Is everything all right? You seem distressed. Oh, uh, would you like a reward for that astute observation? Huh. <sighs> You're that alien visitor that came to Aya asking about our vault. You've heard of me. Who hasn't? When strange new species turn up, reports spread fast. After the cat, you can't be too careful. Luge Anson, historian with the repository of history, Aya. Listen, if there's nothing you need, could you go away? I'm busy trying to get transport off this cursed planet. Why did you come here from Aya? Kieran's team found some remnant relics while digging around the old ruins. I was sent to collect them for the repository. It shouldn't have taken more than a day. But things never go according to schedule, do they? You mentioned remnant ruins. Are there lots of remnant here? Yes. If you've been out in the jungle, you might have seen some of it. We think the ruins were part of a vast remnant complex. We've seen evidence of hallways that wound through the area, both above and below the ground. Generations ago, our people took shelter in what we found here. That's how Palef was established. Were there no hostile remnant machines? 
None, according to the histories. We found artifacts, of course. Bits of things that we could study. But they say it was like moving into an empty home. You don't seem to like Havarl very much. Havarl's other regions suit me just fine. But here... Oh no. I don't do well in this fierce wilderness. <clears throat> you think these shelters keep you safe? They don't. Woke up this morning and found a thorny vine wormed its way into my bunk. I'm stranded here because a branch pierced my shuttle's power core. I won't bother you further. Very well. Watch out for plants while you're out there. Vicious things. Thondia lives near here. She's our best lead to finding Axul. Think she'll talk to us? It'll take some convincing, but I think so. Rokar. They died fighting. <clears throat> Axul must have sent them to watch over Thordir. Override it. Don't come any closer. Oh dear. We're here to help. Don't touch me. I just want to help. Your wounds, they're self-inflicted? The kid. I can't go back. I won't. Oh. Hush now, sister. The Ket are dead. They can't take you. We won't let them. You sound like him. So confident. So sure. You mean Axul? He saved me, gave me a chance to live, and die on my own terms. We need to find him, Thordia. <sighs> he 
Ishare, brave one. Even in the end, she was devoted to him. And Axul's using that devotion to spread hate. The only other person who could reach him is the Moshai. I was hoping to keep her out of this. She's always had a blind spot when it comes to Axul. Come on, let's go. Pathfinder, the computer's data core is damaged beyond repair. Rochelle, it's Ryder. We're inside your old home, but your research data didn't survive. All your effort and risk for nothing. I'm sorry. I can't imagine what you're feeling right now. Shouldn't have let myself hope. You didn't have backups? Of course, but they went down with the city's network memory center. That site is now buried underground. Even if you could find an access point on the surface, the odds of recovering anything are remote. All I heard is, there's a chance. Let's go for it. That didn't fully translate, but I know optimism when I hear it. I can point you in the general direction of where the network memory center used to be. You'll have to hunt for an exposed network node. I'll stand by. Thank you, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, I've detected energy readings consistent with an active network node. Is it on the surface? We'll find out. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Network connection is established. I'm logging in. Searching. I found them. Research files downloading. And done. You did it. We did it. Go team. If we recovered this data, we may be able to access everything lost in the disaster. I'll alert my colleagues. You've accomplished something amazing, Pathfinder. If you get any fungal slime on your skin, I suggest you wash it off immediately. Let's be careful around the native flora. Okay, everyone? This planet's weird.
found them. The researchers caught in the stasis field. Exactly where Kieran said they would be. should search for those missing glyphs. You should now be able to interface Pathfinder. of the monitors and... Scat! Scatting stars! What? Who are you? How did... Thanks isn't necessary. Just doing my job. More aliens? Out of nowhere? A and Jal? Do none of you remember getting frozen? Frozen? I don't understand. We were just working on the monolith and then... And then you appeared. You should return to Palev. Kieran will want to speak to you. Maybe you're right. Oh, I feel a head splitter coming on. We should make sure they return to the station. Who knows what lingering effects they might suffer from. uniforms, Pathfinder. The Turian Arc?
Shot to the gut. Painful. I appreciate the help back there. Name's Avidus Ricks. Sorry if my methods seem extreme. Civilian life is... trying. Sarah Ryder, Human Pathfinder. You former military? A Spectre. Special tactics and reconnaissance. Did the Council's dirty work for 15 years. What, like their laundry? <laughs> More like classified assassinations and espionage. The initiative was my retirement plan. Then Natanis hit the scourge and bam, woke up here. What happened? Where's the Ark? No idea. Had to break out of my own damn stasis pod. A fall like that should have killed you. Those pods are sturdier than they look. But most of the Turian population is still missing. Including Mason, our Pathfinder. Sam hasn't transferred to me, so he's alive. Just don't know where. He hasn't made it back to the Nexus. Knowing Mason, he's out there looking for me. Mason dedicated his life to Andromeda. He's too stubborn to die now. We need every Pathfinder we can get. The debris and stasis pods from the Tannis are scattered across the sector. Between the two of us, we should find something. You go left, I go right? <laughs> something like that. Here's my frequency. Call when you find something. I can't believe this is really happening. Thought we'd be stuck here forever, or until the aliens killed us. We built this camp from what remained of our stasis pod. If we leave, we can't abandon our wreckage. There's debris we couldn't get to out there. We have to take it with us. You think piles of scrap are really that important right now? That scrap might include data modules, fuel cells, things we don't want hostile aliens to have. I see your point. If you find anything from Ark Natanis, tag it for recovery. Oh, and thank you. We've scanned this area. These structures go deep below the ground. Stay alert. We don't know what's down there. If those floaty remnant bots try to push us off the edge, I'll be mad. Be missing something. Guess we'll try again later. Pathfinder. Are you and Mason close? We know each other well, yes. Did I say something wrong? No, sorry. Uh, I'm just not used to discussing my personal life. You must have some great stories from your Spectre days. <laughs> Not that I can tell. That's kind of the point of classified ops. Surely you can bend the rules after 600 years. Bending the rules? Yeah, that's what I thought being a Spectre was all about. Saren Arterius himself recommended me to the Council. Whatever their command, I carried it out without question. Saren? The rogue specter who led the Geth attack on the Citadel? If you believe the rumors, the Saren I knew was ruthless. Not crazy. But something made him snap. Everyone has a breaking point. I got out before I hit mine. Mason convinced me Andromeda was my chance to live outside the shadows. And that's why I'm here. How are the other survivors holding up? They're in shock. Too busy surviving to grieve or take stock at what's happened. But when things eventually do calm down, it'll hit them. And it won't be pretty. Do the Rokar attack often? Only when they find us. Bad as they are, damn plants are the bigger danger. I keep telling the others not to eat anything raw, but when you're starving, logic's the first thing to go. Take care, Abatus. Likewise, Ryder.
Off the tennis debris, tacked for salvage. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Readings indicate Alturian wreckage on Haval has been found. Good. Tell our salvage teams to get busy removing them. You don't feel any different? I don't think so. Why? Do you? My mind feels clouded, but I don't know if I'm just tired. You weren't lying. Kiran told us everything. She even had pictures. I apologize for the indifferent welcome you received from me earlier. After everything you've faced, I wouldn't have blamed you if you shot at me. <laughs> We're all glad that didn't happen. Ryder, what you have done here, your remnant understanding, and your Sam should convince Ephra you're an asset. We should speak to him as soon as we can. Perhaps on the Tempest? Kieran, I've been thinking, if Ryder can use remnants, couldn't we fix the monoliths? Stop Haval's decline. Haval's decline? This will take time to explain. We can discuss it further when you have time. Thank <laughs> you. 